Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to show you a very simple tutorial on how to color in Photoshop. Trust me, trust me, it's extremely easy as organizing your files on a computer or um playing a video game. It's not like Windows 8. So, yeah. I So right now I'm going to color my characters that and here I have it set as a background layer. So what you want to do is duplicate this layer. Duplicate this layer. Lag. Oh my god. What is it doing? Hello? Yes. Duplicate this layer. And... Okay. Okay. The lag. I swear. Okay. So, so you're gonna have uh, background copy and background. So, what you want to do to the background copy is set this to multiply, and you're gonna get that change. And what you want to do here is make a new layer, drag this in between background copy and background. Title this whatever you want. Color or random letters it, it's whatever you want it's, it's it's your choice so I'm going to title this colors here so now I'm I have my color selected and I'm going to select a brush and here I'm just going to color let's increase the brush size Alright, so here I am just going to color here. Also, note that this is not going to be precise because it is a tutorial. So I'm not going to go in and adjust everything with the eraser. Like, for example, I, I, you know, I'm going to show you right now how to adjust something. So right here, I'm going to make an accidental mistake. Whoops, how did I do that? <gasps> I didn't mean to go out the line. Oh my god. So, this is what you want to do. Go to the eraser. Zoom in, if you wish. But I'm just going to go to the eraser. And here I'm just going to erase it. Alright. So, um, the next step. How to shadow. So here you want to go here, select a very, very dark color. Trust me, you do not need a painting class for this. It's very, very easy. Um, lag. Okay, so uh, you want to do this. No, I have the, I have a, I have the eraser selected. Now I don't want that. So here I'm, I'm just going to do that to get that coloring effect. you see now do you see that very hard color I know you see that of course you do um here if you want it you could leave it like that if you don't want it <coughs> you could um undo this and select uh, the soft brush now know the difference between the hard brush and the soft brush very common sense hard soft so right here the soft brush you just wanna do this to get the color the dark color to blend in with the base color now I'm going to undo this step and I'm going to show you a more uh, 
advanced way of coloring or a more well another step to coloring okay so um here let's just say I wanna title this fur okay the fur has the base color so right here I'm going to make a new layer this new layer is going to become a clipping mass now you're going to want to right click right click this layer one make sure you right click and come here to create clipping mass I'm not sure if you could see that but it's going to say create clipping mass or something regarding clipping mask okay and what this is going to do is attach itself to the fur so layer one is going to be titled or renamed shadow shadow so on the shadow layer I'm going to color here and what this clipping mask basically does is a uh, it keeps you within the base color you see it doesn't make you go out of this base color here you see so if I wanted to color out of this area I have it see nothing happens when I color out of this area but if I want to color within this base color you, you do so this is what this is basically what the clipping mask does and it's very very useful a lot of people use this so now I'm going to make another one title this um inner ear this is the inner ear I'm going to select a new color that is like an inner ear which is pink I'm going to now make this brush a hard brush because a base color like this is never they never it's never a uh, soft only shadowing is soft remember that so yeah I'm not going to be very precise with this because this is a tutorial if you wanted to you could just zoom in into the earlobe and you know erase so wait did I just call this inner eye no I meant inner ear what the hell <laughs> okay inner ear so yes inner ear and if you want this to be more realistic um make a new layer right click clipping mask shadow select a darker color and then boom this color is now blended in blended in with the shadow but yeah you would really want to erase all of this before you uh, make a clipping mass of the inner ear so um, moving on now we are going to, I'm going to show you a little special trick that I discovered so you're going to make a new layer uh, title this whatever you want I'm going to title this random letters um, now right here the opacity the opacity is set to 100 percent all the time all the time so I am going to zoom out I'm going to show you a sunlight colored effect so here I'm going to select the shape tool and here I'm going to select a sunlight color a lag okay a sunlight color and do this I'm going to click OK let's zoom out even more so I can get a broader range of the canvas so here I'm going to completely color this into that color and you're going to have uh, something like this 
So now let me zoom in. Also, you're going really, you're going to really want this color to be above everything else. And to get to knowing any software, you need to know that uh, your layers, you know, and it's very simple. The whatever is higher will will become more dominant. Will overwrite the lower, um, the lower colors, if that makes sense. So here, this I'm going to show you why I changed this to 12. So the opacity is 12. Now, if I put the opacity to uh, to uh, 100, it's very dominant. It doesn't have any ghost-like features, and it will take over all the other colors that are underneath the uh, this layer you see it will take over the shadow the inner ear the fur all of that so this is why you would want uh, 15 no um, 12 or you could just make it 15 it's it's whatever you prefer really um yeah and this is the basis of coloring if you want to uh, no more I mean I'm pretty sure there are other YouTube videos and also there are also uh, different coloring styles you see very very different coloring styles I know about two and I have not mastered this uh, flow and painting coloring style that most people color at um, for example they would go to this the brush tool change the opacity to something like 50 and flow to 25 and then just color you see I'm probably going to do something like that hold on 12 okay new layer we'll just call this uh... Um, Screw it, I'm not going to rename it. We'll just leave it as it is. So, you just basically color like this, and when you uh, release your mouse or, uh, or laptop pad, which is what I'm using, you will have an overrided color that will include the shadow. However, I don't like to color like that. Unless I have a tablet, I'm going to test it out when I do get a tablet and a better computer. But, yeah, this is basically how you would cut color, not cutter. This is basically how you would color in a Photoshop. Well, this is how I color anyway. Also, if you want very hard lines, I recommend that you ink your work before you put it in pencil. This is in pencil and not ink so yeah also I also would recommend uh, Manga Studio for uh, inking edits if you want to do that and there are really other drawing soft softwares that are really good for example um, Psy that's a really good software people recommend it a lot uh, Manga Studio Manga Studio is extremely hard to color in and uh yeah photoshop is the most easiest for me because i have it already so yeah and i've been learning photoshop for like i don't know since last year and i got manga studio this year but yeah um yeah subscribe and for more tutorials and peace guys How do I turn this thing off? Okay. Stop the video. Okay. End.